Okay, Uncle Chucky came over. We worked on some ministry work, some online work. Now Chuck is playing Actua Soccer 3. I'm eating Chinese peanut. From 1998. Well, maybe we should edit that out. <laughs> we collect old games because we're too cheap to buy new ones. The truth is, I haven't played this game much since 2003, any game since 2003. Prior to going over to the UK, we played tournaments and everything, and then I played a bit in the UK because I lost my appointment. We didn't have a HD appointment right away, but basically, when I came home in 2001 all the way to 2010, I didn't play many computer games because I was so busy blogging and working on my MPhil and PhD. And since 2010, I've been so busy looking for academic type of employment besides the employment I have. But just recently, uh, getting Windows 10 on uh, my two computers, <coughs> I decided to uh, update my old XP. A little bit of help from Howard and Jamie. That's so Uncle Chuck. Yeah, Uncle boop, 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 boop. So anyway, where we're at is Chuck is Skellington United, and he won the first game against Cyborg Rovers for nothing. And he said it'd be interesting for me to do an obscure post on an obscure game, which no one cares about. <laughs> So I'm not a gamer. This goes beyond what I had in mind. I just thought it would be interesting for for us to record his uh, commentary on. Well, I could do that with a just an audio post. Uh, just a simple commentary on the on the players. Well, you can't really do that if we don't actually show them the dumb game. That's true. So I admit I have a level of expertise on this game, but I haven't played it much. But Howard's going to play. I haven't played it much recently. You need to get more of the more of the game on the okay. screen. Just let everyone know my record for red cards is in a ten minute game I've got six red cards twice and I'm very proud of that. <laughs> I'm doing my best to yeah, he can't take can't out the legs of the other team. You got it you got it more screwed up now, Chuck. Oh no. You gotta line it up more. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's close good as you're gonna get. Contest. I've been looking forward to this game all week. Both these teams are absolutely Tell me who the commentators are. Barry Davies and the uh, current coach of the Irish Republic, Martin O'Neill. Hey, how come I get the So these are supposed to be two, two teams of uh, artificial intelligence robots, so these are perfect for Howard to be playing for and against. <laughs> That's a nice kick out. Possession retained. Some of the passing here has been quite outstanding. So we have two objectives in playing this game. One is to win, and two is to see how many red cards we can get. So I encourage Howard to be as dirty as possible. Take him up, big as leg. Okay. Oh, that one. Remember, they're not real people. Yeah, Russ actually changed their appearance so they don't really look like robots. That's when I choose them on custom teams. Here they still look like robots. Oh, well, that was, that was a shot. terrible shot. Looks like he was drunk, Howard. I'm still getting used to this. Well, you won the first game for nothing. Okay. It's just now you're on the road, so it's a little bit harder. The first game was at home. And they out, they out shot you like two to one, they couldn't score. Ah. There you go. Yeah, my checks. Uh, now Chuck's losing. Chuck's checks. Chucked out. But he's still up 4 1 in aggregate. Those who follow European soccer understand aggregate. This is a two game series. So he's still up 4 to 1 because he won the first game for nothing. 
Ah. Well, still. Let's go break in some legs, Chuck. You will lose this game, at least do some damage. Ties it up. As you can see from the replay, the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. I think we can. Yeah, see, now you got a better picture there. So this is what we do instead of going out and getting drunk when we're not out meeting people at church, right, Chuck? Yeah. It's a Saturday night. Or we're not out. Yeah. You're going to church tomorrow, right, Chuck? Yeah. How's the LDS church going, Chuck? I have no idea. Oh, okay. How's the uh, Watchtower Bible Track Society? Uh, well, I see them standing outside. Uh, oh, you don't go there anymore? I see them standing outside Roots whenever I go grocery shopping this morning. I always have a couple of people. Yeah, I see them too. There's, um, let's talk about theology. So a few years ago, I said that Walter Martin said on an old cassette that when, got a yellow card. when the Mormons build a new temple like they did in Langley, they, they uh, sent out a bunch of missionaries. And I posted that on one of my social media formats. And someone said, no, no, that won't happen. Well, I've been seeing a lot more LDS missionaries around. Have you? No. I've been, I've been seeing them walking around. Hmm. Yeah. How do you know? Well, because they wear white shirts and they travel in twos and they're like 18 years old. Oh. Hmm. Well, I've been seeing them around. Oh. Android One's not falling for the same trick twice. At least you're getting a decent game. They didn't. They wasted all their chances. They didn't even give you a decent match the first time. Yeah, I think they're actually running faster. Yeah, because they're at home. If I manage this team, I change about half the players. I thought that was going in. About half the new players aren't, aren't even playing in the match. Yeah. Radius. Shoots it right into the goalie's possession. Keeping possession well. The cross, but surely it would have been more intelligent to play to a man with a better position. So those of you who are wondering, I tried FIFA, but I never liked it. It was too much emphasis on the speed button, so sorry USA, I never got into American soccer games. I have an old copy. So this is a, a game from Gremlin Interactive, a, a former United Kingdom company. So this is a British soccer game. Actua Soccer 3, 1998-99. I also have Actua Soccer 1 on the Mac. That Chuck and I are trying to get work on this computer, but it's a lot of work to sometimes convert old games. And uh, we also have uh, UEFA and World League Soccer from Eidos, which is also a British game. So I just never got into American soccer games, but other than these <laughs> poor soccer games, I have almost all my games that are American. My first-person shooter games and all that, but I said I haven't played these games very much since 2002, 2003. We just brought this uh, computer back about what, a month ago? We're working on it. This is actually, the game is being played on a computer built by my friend named Bobby Singh. It's actually built in like 2000, so it's 16 years old, but he did such a good job building it, and I knew he was such a hard worker that I wanted to keep the computer because I knew I could play old games on it. And, uh, it's still like brand new. But it has Windows XP. Uh-oh, corner kick. Well, 
bookkeeper appears to be happy with the position of the wallet. I'm going to cut down the angle. So Barry Davies is a bit like a whiny old lady. <laughs> Agree, Chuck? Yeah. And sometimes the things that he says are just patently absurd. Well, that was a bad shot. I remember watching uh, Euro 2000. I think he's st still working. Oh, did I take out his knee? And uh, he was uh, doing, when I lived in Manchester, he was doing the Italy uh, oh, yeah. Euro game. He was just whining about how Italy was playing so defensive. They got to like the final of the tournament and they lost in extra time to on a full time goal to France. It was so negative on them. Because they weren't playing pretty soccer, pretty football. Look at Portugal, they won the Euro this year. They didn't play pretty football. The ball is loose. What a beautifully placed pass. And with a single pass, the defense is split wide open. Oh, such a beauty. You know the hell over there. So this game brought to you by Wireplay and IG Index, the sponsors from 1998, and Bean, the Bean movie. <laughs> I'm going to try and head it, no, which I believe was a dud. Just to let you know the sponsors, and of course we're not getting any money, but the game got money for them. Wide open. Yeah. Fairly good effort, the goalkeeper, but to no avail. It's all about body movement. To get that much power in their shot, you need to get the body in their correct position. As the replay will show you, he certainly did that. So now you're up 6-1 on the... 6-1 on the aggregate, Chuckles. Well, I can concentrate, but the referee plays the good Yeah, got another guy out. Well, he has no argument with that booking at all. He was far, far, far too late. So, to what did you think of that booking? The booking. The booking. I think it was rightly deserved. The booking. It's a fair price to pray, play for. Uh, the 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 forced substitution due to injury on the other side. Of course, they mentioned bookies because it's Britain. The bookie shop is usually right next door to the hard liquor shop. Or close to it. Yeah, a lot more time than he thought now. They're passing and moving. It's absolutely ah, brilliant. I'll pass it to the toilet. Chuck's being known to score on his own net because he doesn't sure what side he's shooting at. <laughs> How many times have you done that, Chuck? Uh -huh. Countless. <laughs> Actually, we should have had him play UEFA because there'd be more chance he'd lose the game. Because Howard's never mastered UEFA at all. It's, it's it's slower. You can't do the curve shots. The goaltending is worse, and it's really hard to master. It took me. Now remember, this was. Uh, it's got crappy disco music too. This this was when I just lost my PhD up in Manchester just before I got my appointment at Wales. I. S I stayed up almost 48 straight hours until I won UEFA. <laughs> That's a nice kick I was kind of depressed and I was mad I couldn't win right away, so I think I slept for just a few hours. But I kept playing the World Cup again and again until I won. <laughs> so UEFA is definitely, that's Ido's game, that's definitely harder than this, and that's from 2000. Shot right at him. I know. They're 
passing and movement is absolutely exquisite. Well, thank you, Mary. Mary Davies would be like a grandma and a grandpa, all wrapped up in one. <laughs> Yeah, he can be complimentary in ways that don't make any sense. He's like a nattering old granny. You're not playing right, son! Or with a British accent. Excellent pass. Now let's see what they can do. Hey! I'm supposed to go to that guy that was up. Not into the great unknown. Nice searching ball. Excellent positioning by the keeper. He would have passed. He could have passed to the the guy up to the top there and shot it in. They, they're stupid. They don't. They're stupid. They, they make horrible choices. And yet it's still two to one, Chuck. Do you ever get goal slobbing in? in? Lots. I can I can lob it from just over the half. Put it in. Oh, you need Zidane. Zidane is good at lobbing. He can lob it from a long ways. He's the lob master. He's the lob. Well, he was. Him and Ronaldo were like the top guys in this era. This is like 20 years ago, so it's like two eras ago. Okay. Let's see. So we, how and I went to go see Zidane play a couple years after he retired in Vancouver. And he was playing a bunch of semi-pros in Vancouver, and he scored three goals and three assists. And he was like the fastest guy out there, and he was like 30-something, mid-30s. Incredible player. Yeah, they sure are getting a lot of shots on goal. Okay, lob from here. That's a chip. If you're gonna get that close, you chip it. You hit pass and shoot together. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pass and shoot together or chip. A lob is the same button as the. Uh, it's also a long pass, long shot. It's the same button as slide tackle. Hmm. It's not letting me lob from here. Well, no. You gotta you gotta throw it in. You gotta pass. Oh, oh right. right. Yeah. I thought it was like a corner. No, that's a throw in. Yeah, for some reason. Hit my target. So, but now they have a free kick where they can score from. Yeah. <coughs> That's Android 10. He's not very good. He'll probably shoot into the wall. Yep. There you go. That's the guy, Android 17. That's the guy that should have been playing forward. <laughs> I'm taking my chances here. Android 17 should be taking all the free kicks. Well, I've seen some spectacular efforts from this. No, he'll shoot into the wall. He's an idiot. Hopefully, not to be disappointed. <laughs> oh, oh, he scored! Oh, oh tied it up. You see, so the commentators understand, even though it's a tie game, that's why I said Constellation Bowl, because yeah. they realize that uh, it's 6-2 on aggregate. Quite clearly, the player simply took his legs away. He had no intention of playing the ball. No. The referee quite rightly booked him. Yeah, booked him. Quite rightly booked. It's like your commentators are like a an old granny and a fairy. Does that kind of sound like that? Kind of. Certainly no accuracy at that point. You even have that. Ah, lost it. The 
Christian will have to level the green at the moment. Oh, oh, did he stop that? Yeah, did he stop that? Hey, Chris. Oh, you're lucky you're there. Yeah, green rims good. He's right in the right spot. This will be a secondary, if I post this, this will be a secondary part of the post. It's pretty long, but yeah. it's got some funny parts. How long is the game? Good, good. 10 minute game. Alright. So you got about a minute or two left. Oh no, you may oh. lose this! Crap. I don't swear, how A lot of fundamental descriptions hit this website. Oh, yes. Oh, oh well. Okay, enough of the celebrating. It doesn't really matter because you're up 6 3 on aggregate. That's all that matters. Some of the passing here has been quite outstanding. Kick up field or find a defense little time to organize. Really but unfortunately, you know, when you're showing in public you're, you're losing the game. Yeah. You just have to dig it on faith that, that well, you, you win, but what we'll do is we'll, we'll show them the end the screen to show you you won. If they watch that long. <laughs> you really don't need to go around that. You look like you had a few beers when you took that one, Chuck. <laughs> I, I know. Or you had a few beers. I didn't, though. No. No, it's my thumb getting tired. I'm yeah, starting to play this again. My wrist hurts as much playing this as it does when I do the 30 or 50 pound um, dumbbells. <laughs> no, it does. It hurts. Yeah. Oh, you should bring that guy up the top there, he should be coming down. That's right. Block it. That's right. Uh oh. Red card. Bye bye. Very sternum was very naughty. Android 10. I think he's Four actually a good player. He is. He's too slow. 4 to 2. They don't have enough time. They need another uh, two goals. They don't have enough time. Plus, they'd have to get three goals because you have um, away goals. There you go. 4 3. Sheer power beat the keeper there. Come to think of it, he probably saved himself from an injury by not getting in the way. This really is a close one. Ball three. The ball given away needlessly. Well, some of the players wanted to hear it. Others didn't. There it is. It's full time. The whistle blows. Great scoreline if you follow the visitors, but the home side really must be disappointed with their performance. They played into the visitors' game plan. The players were being constantly pulled out of position. And just to prove to the world that Howard actually, aka Chuck, see, he won 7 4 in aggregate. Where does it give the aggregate? It just showed it. Huh? It just showed it the previous screen. Oh, I just saw 4 3. No, you won 7 4. <coughs> so, Howard ends the night, both a winner and a loser. 